Kill me, I'm here! Kill me! Hey everybody, this is Matthew Movies coming at you with my review of Grindhouse, a double feature that was put out as a pair by Robert Rodriguez and Quentin Tarantino in 2007 and that I remember going and seeing in the theater and being blown away by. Now, don't get me wrong, I do not think that these movies are perfect by any stretch of the imagination. The thing I dig about this thing was the experience, how they experiment, what they went for. Now, if you don't know what this movie is based on, basically back in the day there used to be things called Grindhouse theaters where they would take movies that had excess of amounts of gore or violence or nudity or any kind of thing that a lot of the bigger theaters may look down on and they put two of them together sandwich some see some trailers in the middle of it and have a double feature that people would come and see and have a good time at and this was their attempt to kind of recreate that experience but with new films and ho they were hoping to turn it into kind of a of a thing where they'd have other directors come in and do their version of it but unfortunately it didn't do well enough to really get the ball rolling but I still still think it was a very, very interesting idea and definitely worthwhile to watch just for the idea behind it alone. Now, there are two parts of this movie, Death Race and Death, or Death Proof, sorry, and Death Proof and Planet Terror, that's what it is. And for me, the part, it's interesting because when I first saw this movie, it was Planet Terror that I preferred. And over time, I've come to really, really like Death Proof. And they're both, they're definitely their own thing. Death Proof is the one that was put out by Tarantino. It basically, it focuses on Killer Mike, or Stuntman Mike, or what have you. Mike, played by Kurt Russell, who is a guy who is a stuntman, who has a car that he's built to in order to kill people with. And he's chasing down a group of women, trying to kill them. And it's just, the, the last half of it is just a really long chase scene that is just amazingly well shot, extremely thrilling, and very interesting. But the first half, it's a lot of the Tarantinoisms, where it's a lot of conversation, but a lot of conversation that I felt kind of doesn't go anywhere. And I, I still feel that way to this day, but I just love, love, love that chase scene so much, and it's so excess uh, excessive. It is, it, I mean, it's just really, really long, but it just really works on a lot of levels. And the fact that they did it with like real stunts instead of using CG, I just really, really dig that part of it. And then any movie that has Kurt Russell in it is always going to be aces with me. And on the other end of the spectrum, you have Planet Terror, which is essentially a, a, another zombie movie in the same vein as like 28 Days Later as a zombie movie. Well, it's not technically a zombie, but it plays on a lot of the tropes. There is a lot of ridiculousness like the Rose McGowan plays a character whose leg gets chopped off and they replace it with a gun and all that kind of stuff but it's a fun time and it, both of them work within what they were going for neither of them I think are perfect films but when you put them together and you put those trailers in the middle it was really quite a cool experience that I thought really really did its own thing very effectively now I remember seeing this in the theater like I said and my favorite part was by far by far the trailers. I just loved the trailers in the middle. And I'm a Canadian, and in Canada, they actually showed a trailer for another movie that was fake called Death, Do uh, Hobo with a Shotgun, and it ended up being turned into a real movie starring Rutger Hauer, but it wasn't a real movie then. And that's what the, the, the deal is with these trailers. They're not real movies. They're, they were put together by a group of filmmakers, and it was all really, really cool stuff. Like, they Machete had a trailer in it, and there was one put out by Eli Roth, there was one made by um, Rob Zombie, there was one made by Edgar Wright, and they were all really interesting. None of them were necessarily movies that, like, when I was watching them, the fact that they've made a movie of two of them, Machete and Hobo with a Shotgun, is kind of amazing, because none of them look like they would be exactly great films by a stretch of the imagination. Personally, my favorite of the trailers was Don't, Edgar Wright's intro, because I thought it was just such a cool play on the way they used to make trailers back in the day. But then you had Rob Zombies, where it's werewolf women of the SS with Nicolas Cage, and, and all the Thanksgiving movie, or Thanksgiving, but should have been called Thanksgiving, Killing, was, was really interesting. And, and just the whole experience of this film is really where it's at. I still think there are definitely things about it that are really interesting, like as the both films in and of themselves i personally went out and bought the blu-ray that has the full experience because i really feel like that's where this comes down to unfortunately of course being that it's two films and a bunch of trailer sandwiches sandwiched in there you need to have some time to watch it so it's not going to be one that you're necessarily going to watch over and over again but 
I think it's very, very cool. And if you're a film fan, you need to check out the full package at least once. So those are my thoughts on Grand House. Let me know in the comments below what you think, if you're a fan of it. If you thought, if you would have liked to have seen this, go on. I think it could have been interesting. I'm not heartbroken that it didn't, but I thought it, thought it had a lot of potential there. Please hit that like button, hit that share button. It makes it much more likely that other people will come and check out my videos that wouldn't have otherwise, and I'd be very, very appreciative of that. And if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. That way you can find out when I put out new videos and come and check them out and enjoy the conversation. Other than that, have yourself a good day.